Hi, my name is Samuel Koschel. I'm a graduate student working on my PhD here at Montana State University, working with Dr. Perry Miller and Dr. Clayton Jones, uh, primarily as my committee for my doctoral degree. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a pea leaf weevil trial. Uh, the reason this is important is because pea leaf weevils are primarily the most impactful insect we have in pea and also fava bean uh, stands across Montana. Um, what we see is that pea leaf weevil damage occurs directly after emergence, especially when the peas are uh, in that V1 to V5 range. Uh, so the treatments that we have here are three different rates of cruisers. You can see all the way to the left of your screen with the white flag that has no cruiser seed treatment. In the middle with the green flag, it's 30, gra uh, mil 30 grams of active ingredient, which is thamoxifen, uh, which is the active ingredient in cruiser. And then right here standing beside me is our high rate, which is 50 grams per 100 kilograms of seed. And then going north south, so across these plots, we also have different timings of warrior insecticide application. So there's a control, an early timing, which was approximately the V2 stage, and then a late timing, which was approximately at the V5 stage. So we've taken plant height, uh, percent, emer percent emergence, and also percent damage to the growth point. What you'll see whenever you look at a pea plant to determine how badly you could say that the pea plant has been damaged from pea leaf weevil uh, adult feeding, you'll see U-shaped notches around uh, the leaves. And what that causes is reduced photosynthetic activity and reduce productivity from the plant. Now, however, the adult pea leaf weevil damage is a concern, but the, even more of a concern is the larval damage to the nodules. The nodules that which are below the soil surface is what we have that fix nitrogen for the plant. And nitrogen from what we've seen is a main contributor to protein formation in field peas. So the end goal of this study is to determine what is the best return on your investment for a farmer to control pea leaf weevil either in the adult or the larva stage to end up with higher grain yield and also higher protein because Montana is a center for high protein pea that feeds fractionation markets for protein plant-based isolates. Uh, so you can see here the peas are at about the R4 stage so the seeds are developing within the pods. Uh, we're at about 2000 growing degree days accumulated from April 29th, which was when this trial was planted. This is Delta yellow field pea. It was inoculated with Verdesian uh, in peat powder, and our planting rate was approximately 80 plants per square meter. Uh, so I wish I could show you this trial uh, in person, um, and hopefully we'll have some grain yield data and protein data to show you later. So one of the main reasons that we want to control pea leaf weevil, in addition to controlling how many larvae we have feeding on the nodules, is the pea plant has different stages where it can actually compensate for above ground feeding on the foliage here. Uh, so whenever the pea plant has just emerged to approximately the V5 stage, the pea plant is very, very susceptible to um, the adult weevil feeding on the foliage and that plant damage transitioning into a yield potential loss. The plant can actually compensate between the V5 to before it starts its reproductive cycle by uh, before it sets flowers and forms pods. Uh, that time the plant can catch up because uh, well one, adult weevil populations are usually not as high during that stage of the plant growth and the plant has created enough critical mass and biomass and photosynthetic material across the canopy uh, to catch up and mitigate that plant stress. However, if we have an additional wave of pea leaf weevil adults that onset and start to feed during this reproductive cycle, as we see here today, then that can also uh, result in decreased yield potential loss. So you have two main factors whenever you think about why you should control pea leaf weevils. One is the above ground foliage feeding, and then from the larva, the nodule feeding that would reduce your infixation rates, which in turn results in possibly reduced protein content in the field pea grain. 